Watch the magic of the Nido. The baby looks super warm and is nicely bundled up, but it's safe for the car seat because the entire thing goes on around the child's body and the harness, not underneath the child's body or the harness. Notice how my straps are nice and snug. You can put the Nido on in one of two ways. You can already buckle baby in and then simply slide it in, slip it behind the head. There's only two very thin layers of fabric under the head, so it's not gonna push your baby's head forward into a dangerous position for breathing. Tuck it alongside of baby, pull it up here, pull this part over and this part over and you're good to go. You can notice there's even leg holes. As your baby gets bigger, their legs will fit into there. For an older baby that might want their arms out, you can also do that. Now baby's chest and legs stay warm and the arms are free to play or put the pacifier in their mouth. I'm gonna open up the Nido, put the hooded head area here. Notice how there's a big wide hole to allow the harness straps and the crotch buckle to pass through. This way the harness is snug to your baby's body and there's no fabric adding extra fluff underneath them. I'm gonna put my baby in and make the harness nice and snug. Make sure baby is sitting. Pull upwards on the shoulder straps to remove the slack. Pull the tail at the bottom. Check that my straps are snug, no slack comes up. Just a finger fits at the collarbone. The chest clip is at armpit level. I can tuck the Nido along the side of the body, put the baby's legs in the leg holes, pull the Nido up, bring this in, tuck this part over here, this part over here, and you're good to go.